Okay. Here. Thank you very much. You look like you're feeling better. Good. You're tough. I appreciate that. Or is that just the blood talking? Uh, pardon me. Disregard that. Now, allow me to introduce myself once again. You can call me Satoko Mito. Mr. Sejima has given me orders to look after you. Any updates from the top will come through me. We have a lot of work ahead of us. We do it to protect the town and the country we love. Also, this job, so you'll be paid on a regular basis. I'll email you the details on that. Now, about them. I told her my name, but I couldn't think of anything else to say. We just met, you know? She seems really serious, and I guess we're all kind of nervous. Except Sara. She's just over there being Sara. Pardon me? I tried to chat with her, but we really don't seem to have anything in common. I mean, I have all kinds of questions, but I didn't want to just dive right in, you know? Yeah, so... Awkward. Super awkward. So... The boss asked me to fill them in, too. Would you mind introducing us? Well, again, they call me Yatabe. Yeah, the shop's been around for a while. Old-timey tech, modern tech, it's got a little bit of everything. People like to come by and window shop. I mean, I'm kind of rambling on now, but anyway, it's nice to meet you. Uh, uh, I think I already said it, but, uh, my name's Gone. Yeah, my favorites these days are DBP. They're amazing. You just know they're gonna hit it big real soon. But then they'll probably leave town, and we might never get to see them again. And I know, I ought to be happy for them, but it's still kind of sad. So that's what keeps me up at night. Wait, what were we talking about again? Well, for the second time, I'm Nobu. Nice to meet you. Well, some of the lesser known ones, yeah. All the mainstream stuff just plays it too safe these days. I am a sucker for anything with Lolly Kudere in it. You know, those ice-cold girls who never show their feelings. Sara, pleasure to meet you. I am the chief maid at Edinburgh, the Orthodox Maid Cafe. Do please stop by the shop. I can also introduce you to other places that may fit master and mistress's liking. Whatever you would like, please do not hesitate to ask. I, I see. Thank you very much. Clearly, you're all a bit different from my usual. We have a lot of ground to cover here, but first... Could you go on ahead and meet me at the front of the station? I'll catch up in a bit. I'll fill you in later. What? Yeah.
Look at you. Your skin says you're not human. Don't play dumb. Sorry, but you're gonna have to die. I won't miss you this time. Ready? Tables are turned. Now let's wrap this up. That was close. Are you hurt? That's the enemy we're up against. They're attacking people on a daily basis. Officially, they're written off as brawlers or bullies, but well, you see the reality. Our job and yours from now on is to prevent these kinds of incidents. We can't let them keep happening. It's time to go see her. We agents call her the Master. She's developed and perfected a new fighting style to combat the Shadow Souls. She's also not terribly concerned with decorum. You'll understand when you meet her. Now let's go. She's on the rooftop of a certain building. Please help. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh my. It's been a while, Master. It's me. A long while. I was getting worried. You've been doing all right? Uh, yes. Thanks to your techniques, I've been using them every day. I'm not asking about your job. I mean... The other thing. Oh. Well, uh, that's... <laughs> oh, you're still so adorable. Anyway, um... I'd like you to meet someone. Yes, I heard he was coming. Not sure if he's qualified, but I'll see what I can do with him. I was getting bored up here anyway. Uh, thank you very much. Come on. Uh, it's all right. It's his first time. Hey, you. Do you love cherries? I love him like crazy. Well, do you? <laughs> that sounded very sincere. I was hoping you could teach him that technique today, actually. Oh, that's a shame. All right. Work now. Play later. Step on into the arena. And you come here, Mido. Huh? Sorry. Was that too forward of me? <laughs> For real, though. Come here. W what, today? In front of him? You knew this was coming. No backing out now. This is what we do when you come here. Every time. Come on. You know you want it. That's... But... but 
Come on. Or I'm not gonna teach him anything. In fact, I'll do you one better. I'll cut all ties with Nairo. No more lessons, ever. That would be a problem. So you want it, right? My special technique. Yes. Say it so I can hear you. I want it. I want your special technique. Great. Now come on over. I'll take real good care of you. Just like always. Okay? Now, the first move you need to learn from me is the basic strip down. Just like how it sounds, you'll be taking off clothes. Not your own, mind you. No. You're going to learn how to take off the other person's clothes. For whatever reason, those shadow souls are weak against sunlight. So my strip techniques work well against them, I suppose. But who cares about all that? Fighting, training, Nairo, shadow souls. I just want to strip who I want to strip. Now listen here. The first thing you need is drive. The drive to strip the other person. You need this raw desire to rip their clothes off and expose their soft, hidden skin. More than strength, more than skill, you need that. Have you got it? Very good. If you have that drive, you have nothing to fear, no matter how many layers the opponent has. In fact, clothing that's hard to remove is just another learning experience. For example, a tight pantsuit. Ha! Ah. Uh -huh. Yes. And now it's your turn. Try out the technique on one of my adorable pets. Who do you want to strip the most? Now that outfit's hard to strip off cleanly. Are you still okay with that? <laughs> okay. If you really insist. But don't worry. Even if it does rip, you'll still get the basic idea. If you need to fall back from a fight, press the toggle stance button. Do that, and you'll get a chance to smooth out your clothes. But be aware, you'll be wide open. Press the toggle stance button again to get back to the fighting. Now you take what I've taught you here, and do what you want with it. don't have enough drive to strip your opponent. Feel the urge. Awaken your instincts. That's it. There's the drive. There's the understanding. When the clothing you've hit turns red, that's your chance. Hold any attack button to perform a strip maneuver. If your opponent resists your stripping maneuver, start mashing the button you use to start that maneuver. When you mash an attack button, it enhances your drive to strip. Mashing goes both ways. If you're about to get stripped, mash to resist. Get out of here. Uh, uh, 
Oh, uh, yeah. The training got pretty intense. Remember, keep this place a secret. Don't even tell the Freedom Fighters. Am I clear? Not a word. No. Now I'm gonna go take a quick break. If something comes up, I'll keep you posted. Pardon me.
Hello. Please help. If you're here, I assume you're ready. Take this. It's a shadow soul detector. We call it... Shadow souls blend in by disguising themselves as humans. This will show you who they really are. We developed it in-house, at considerable expense. Please, take good care of it. We also linked it up with your smartphone data for ease of use. Now, here's your assignment. We're going to test you in real combat. We've confirmed sightings of Shadow Souls roaming around on Backstreet. We've sent the Freedom Fighters ahead of you to see what they're capable of. Put your skills to the test by protecting them from the Shadow Souls. Two objectives in one. Find the Shadow Souls with the mirror snap, then eliminate them. Remember, this is 100% real. Remember what the Master said about keeping that drive in your heart. And fight. Good luck. Thank you. 